Hi, and welcome to another Excel demo with Rich Kerr. In this scenario, I want to show you how to use the consolidate function to help you aggregate data that exists on multiple tabs or sheets within your workbook. Uh, in this scenario, you'll notice I've got three tabs at the bottom labeled Airport 1, uh, Airport 2, and Airport 3. And uh, each of the sheets has headings starting with the word airline and then an indication for quarter one through quarter four. Now one of the things that varies from sheet to sheet is they don't all have the exact same list of airlines. So while American might appear on all three sheets, it's not in the same position on all three sheets. And um, you might have another entry like say United, which is on airport one, but not airport two, but it is also on airport three. And so we want to automate the process of aggregating that data so we're not hunting around and trying to manually pull this information together. While there are a few ways to do this, and one of them would be through the use of Microsoft Query, for something like this kind of example, I prefer to use the uh, consolidate function. Here's how it works. First, we're going to create a fourth sheet, and that's where the summary will take place. So I'll click the plus symbol at the very bottom, and I'm going to rename this sheet Summary. This is where we're going to aggregate the data. So on the summarizing sheet, I'll go to the Data tab of the ribbon, and I'll choose the option labeled Consolidate. And so when the Consolidate window appears, you'll notice that there's a drop-down menu for Functions. The default function is to sum the data, meaning we want to add them to get a total. Though you could do counts or get the average or the max, which would give you the largest, etc. For this example, we'll leave it on sum. Now where it says reference is where we're going to indicate where the source data is found. And again, in our example, it's on those three sheets, airport one, two, and three. Though you could click the button labeled Browse to go and select some other workbook that you have on your computer. Uh, but in this case, we're going to do it all within the same file. So I'll click where it says Reference, and I'll go to Airport 1, and I'll select A1 through E8 and choose Add. So I've now added that reference to my Consolidate tool. I'll now, now go to Airport 2, and I'm going to select A1 through E6. There were fewer airlines on that sheet. I'll click Add, and that's now one of my references. And finally, I'll go to Airport 3, and I'll select from A1 to E7 and add that reference. So I have three different references. They're all listed here. And then I want Excel to use the values in the top row that say airline and Q1, Q2, etc., to understand the layout of my data. Uh, so uh, it'll see, for example, the word airline and try to match the values found there. It'll, uh, it'll see the uh, values or the headings labeled Q1 and try to match the values labeled Q1 on the other sheets. It will also, if I tell it, let's go ahead and check that option, use the values in the left column. And that's where we had the airline names like United or Southwest, etc. So that way it'll know if it sees Southwest in a particular row on one sheet, it's going to look for Southwest on, you know, throughout the various rows on other sheets. If the name matches, it'll grab those values and it will sum them together, which is what we've told it to do. Lastly, I'm going to choose to create links to the source data. Now, the benefit there is if we change one of the values on the airport one, two, or three sheets, it will be reflected on the summary sheet after the fact. So we can go back and make a change and it will update the summary sheet automatically. So with all three of those checkboxes selected, let's choose OK. And here's our summary sheet. I'm going to zoom in just a bit. So let's take a look at an American, for example. We've got 2400 for quarter one. Well, let's go to airport one. So airport one was 700 for Q1. Uh, it was 700 for Q1 for American on Airport 2, and it was 1,000 uh, for American on Q1 for Airport 3. So 700, 700, and 1,000, that's 2,400, and we can see that that value is here. And so it, it aggregated all the data for each of the different airlines. Uh, now, for example, if I were to 
want to see that uh, detail here at the summary level, notice there's a plus symbol next to the different rows of airlines. So if I hit the plus symbol for American, it will expand the rows above, and I can see those values that came in from the other sheets, 700, 700, and 1,000. And in fact, those are formulas linking back to those cells. So for example, let's say um, we knew that there needed to be a change for American for Airport 1. So I'll go to Airport 1. Let's say that number instead of 700 was uh, 2,000. So now when I go to my summary, it's 3,700, right? It's gone up significantly because of what we changed back on Airport 1. And that is the consolidate feature. I hope you find it useful.